Hey, hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. All right, so we've been talking lately about teardrop trailers and camper trailers and stuff, and I found this trailer frame on Craigslist the other day, a reasonable price. So I hit the guy up. It had, you know, California registration on it, so I took it to AAA, found out it was made by Coleman. And I, you know, started researching and find out it was a Coleman caboose. When I went back to the guy's house to hit him up for a signature, we started talking about it. He goes, oh, I got this old body that used to be on this thing behind some bushes, behind my shed, filled full of rats and spiders and rattlesnakes. I'm scared. And anyways, if you want it, go look at it and you can have it. So I pulled it out. And here we go. It's actually in better shape than he thought. He expected it to be all brittle and broken. And as you can see, it's actually in pretty decent shape. It's got cutouts for the wheel wells. In the back it even has the Coleman caboose sticker, which I wish I could find a new one, and I will look. All right, so the idea is we are gonna trim these two pieces of post off that he has here, because he used this for advertising signs. And then I'm gonna drop this body on it, and then we're gonna take another look at it. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are. It's sitting, just sitting on the, on the chassis. You can see I cut off these pieces of pipe there. And there's a good shot of the Caboose logo. I wish it was in better condition, but I might be able to find one. You can see it's got all the bracketry inside. Pretty sweet. I am pretty stoked. I was going to paint it dove blue, but the orange is in good enough shape. I'm going to try and buff it out, see what it looks like. We'll be back. Since this thing has been sitting for so many years, I decided it was time to take apart the hubs and replace the wheel bearings, and I found this nice little mess here. As you see, the bearing was pretty messed up. The race was frozen to the axle, but I was able to get it loose, so I picked up a set of lug nuts online or lug bolts online make sure they're nice and clean harbor freight with the mother's day special these tires and wheels were under 20 bucks a piece i think i paid 18.47 a piece also got new safety chains wiring loom and got the missing pieces that i needed for the coupler decided it was time to get the bearings all done painted the hubs now we're ready to put on some new wheels and so the baby's going to be ready to roll. Okay, you got to check it out, man. My old wheels, it looks like they were painted with stucco. I mean, look at that. And that is after I hit it with a wire wheel. It just wasn't coming off. So here we go with the new tires. Not bad for $20 worth of tire and $6 worth of lug nuts. A little bit of paint. Okay, here we are, day three of the Coleman Caboose Trailer Rescue. And let's see, this is the finished product. Got it all together, ready to roll. So what we do is we pull a couple clips off. Those could be replaced by padlocks. to secure it a little bit better if you want. We lift the lid open, show you what we're gonna use this for. Couple support brackets down here. Hold it in place. And as you can see, I got a pack full of my 
camping stuff and my squat meat stuff that I sell for the Coleman junk. And we got the table, a couple of tables here, lamp cases, a couple of different lanterns, some jack stands that we put our ice chests on top of. You see, I can't put a lot in there, but I can put some pretty sensitive stuff and it makes a good display piece anyways. Got our brackets for uh, hanging your lanterns. Got a sweet little Amber 200. So there you have it. It's a great setup. It's nice and sturdy. It's weather tight, 100% weather tight. It's real thick in these overlap here, so it keeps all the weather out. It's like leak proof. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to use it. Prado's coming up in about two weeks, three weeks maybe. And I will definitely be there and I'll be set up and ready to roll and have a good time. So guys, hope you enjoyed this little video. Leave your comments at the bottom. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. We're gonna start doing more stuff on lantern, collectible lanterns, collectible picnicking stuff. So hopefully it'll be a nice little new chapter and we'll continue with the combi. In the next couple weeks, I'm gonna have my trailer hitch. Jeremy's gonna be sending me a trailer hitch for it and we're gonna get that installed. We're gonna show you how we did that. So please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you again. Thanks for watching Filet TV. Go to the booth, baby. Go to the booth.